take a listen to see how they sound before and after EQ. So here we are in my living room. I am wearing the Sonic Presence SP15 Pros binaural headphones. And so wear some good headphones and you'll be able to get an idea of how it sounds here in this room. So first I wanna test out the bookshelf speakers, then I will test out the floor standards. For the first test, what I wanna do is try to find out about how much bass I'm getting here in the living room. To make it easy, I'm gonna be using the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, and I'll leave a link to that down below. Right now, I'm just running this off of a basic Fosse Audio 4-channel amplifier, so there's no room correction whatsoever. I also have a subwoofer that I have disconnected at the moment, but I'll go ahead and turn that on just to see what the differences are. All right, so on the calibration toolkit, this is section six crossover points. So let's do the front left first. According to what I heard, as well as REW, I am hearing bass down to 40 hertz, which is surprising for a small speaker like this. Let's try out the right one. So on that one, I could hear actually down to the 32 hertz region, although it was pretty low in volume. So let's just say around 40 hertz audible bass, just to give you an idea how it sounds with the SBS 3000 micro subwoofer. Let me go ahead and turn that on. And now it's time to try it out with the tower speakers and see how it does. I already can tell that they're louder, even though I haven't changed the volume on them. All right, so not much lower than the bookshelf speakers, but they definitely play louder and with more authority. So I would still say safe bet around 40 hertz. I was able to hear the 32 hertz even better, but again, to play it safe, let's just say 40 hertz in room, but with more heft. All right, let's check out the vocals. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. First impression, uh, it just kind of like what the measurements are showing. The treble is just too hot. Well, 
that track was much better when it came to the bass. So I think it was just the other track maybe was light on bass. If I didn't have a sub, I think for most music, I would be pretty happy with these floor sanders. Let's see what these bookshelf speakers can do with no sub. All right, so you already noticed the volume difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up so it's about the same volume as the floor sanders just to make it fair. So that wasn't too bad for some very inexpensive small bookshelf speakers. Okay, now the bookshelf speakers with a sub. That's the way to go. So right now we're listening to the system after I've done manual calibration. I've done some parametric EQ to flatten out the response a bit. I've also done level balancing and adjusted the delays so they sound good because I am slightly off center. In addition, I made sure that it blended well with the subwoofer. So what we're gonna hear right now is the left speaker and the subwoofer. The changes I've made do not extend the bass any further. So what I wanna show you here is how it sounds blended with a sub. So I want to play some of the same test tracks I played prior to calibration and see if we can hear a difference in tonality and realism. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. Welcome to the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. This track is here for you to set up your volume. I should sound like I am in your room and you should be able to hear my voice clearly. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hoping that that came through in the binaural audio, but to me, it just sounds much better, much more pleasing, especially using the subwoofer. So, yeah, very nice blend. And again, it sounds just excellent once you have it dialed in. So they are capable, it's just that the tuning out of the box, again, too much trouble. So there you have it. What did you guys think? Did you like it? before or after DSP, what did you think of the bookshelf speakers versus the floor standing speakers? And do you think that they needed a sub? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested, you can take a look at my previous video that went into 
more of the technical aspects with measurements on these speakers and look out for my full review that just goes over all of the things that we learned in the process.